Hello and welcome to Abyss, the Wraiths of Eden. This is Jewel Smith and it's Try It Tuesday, the day when I try out games I have never played before. Abyss, the Wraiths of Eden came out in 2012. It is another one of those Artifacts Monday games. It's a point and click story game. Got lots of puzzles in it probably if it's like other Artifacts Monday games. Uh, <laughs> of which I have played or demoed a few. Um, sometimes I play them and I find them really compelling and then I end up buying them and finishing them. Sometimes I just try out the demo and then decide, okay, that's enough of that. <laughs> uh, but uh, this one, I'm not sure how I'm going to feel about it. The reason I selected it is one, it has a free demo on PlayStation 4. That's what I'm playing here is the free demo. And two, it sounded very similar to Bioshock. And I have been playing my way through Bioshock the Collection. So I wanted to check this out. It says here, on the developer's website, it says the utopian city of Eden is located at the bottom of the sea. Once a haven of peace, harmony, and beauty constructed in secret by a group of enlightened people who treasured noble ideals, knowledge, and new discoveries. However, their unsatiable curiosity led to Eden's downfall. A mysterious finding dug up from the ancient seabed unleashed supernatural forces that pitted the citizens against each other. Fear and cruelty replaced peace and enlightenment. The city started dying. Well, that sounds an awful lot like the premise behind Bioshock. So, um, now the gameplay will not be similar to Bioshock. These are not first person games. Not exactly. They're not really, uh, it's, it's, you know what point and click games are like. There'll be a, a screen and we'll scroll over and there'll be things we can interact with and there'll be puzzles we have to solve. Options. Um, wow. Let's turn this down just a little bit. I feel like I'm yelling here. <laughs> it's always that way when I try out these games. It seems like the music volume is always set up pretty high. Okay. Um, controls. Uh, I don't know. That should be fine. Okay. Looky there, see city under the sea like rapture. Right, the Wraiths of Eden. Can't wait to try it out. Uh, I'll go with casual. We're just here to have a good time. Weather like this is life threatening to divers, the Coast Guard warned me. They were right, of course. But I couldn't leave Robert beneath the ocean's battering waves. They'd already spent several days looking for him without so much as a trace. They say his survival is highly unlikely. But I can't believe that. I won't believe that. I know he's alive. And he needs me. Here we are in the game. Yes, I previously played The Forsaken Bride was another Artifacts Monday game that I played recently. And I played Eventide, Eventide Slavic Fable, which I liked so much that I bought it and played the whole game. Didn't take very long though, it took about 10 hours I think if I remember correctly. And uh... And then what was the other one? I played one called Clockwork Tales. That was kind of a steampunk themed point and click game. All right, move the cursor. Yeah, so see how that's sparkling? Yes, I'm pressing it. Look closer. Oh, I have to look at this, okay. Collect item. else we can do here? Oh! 
Oh, Robert, where are you? Okay, so she's looking for Robert. All right, in all of these Artifacts Monday games, it seems like there's always someone who goes missing, and the protagonist has to go looking for them. In uh, even Tide Slavic Fable, it was her grandmother she had to go looking for. In Forsaken Bride, it was her sister she had to go looking for. And in Clockwork Tales, it was her mentor she had to go looking for. Now, I don't know if they always do female protagonists in their games, uh, but so far, every game I've tried has had a female protagonist. Not that I'm complaining, that's fine. Um, but yeah, okay, so this time we're looking for this guy, I guess, is her husband, boyfriend, brother, or something. I don't know. I wasn't paying attention. If she said it earlier, I missed it. Uh, I'm assuming boyfriend, maybe? But I'm sure we'll find out. Ooh. Shark. Oh, that's where we are right now. What's that right there? Is that a wraith? Is that one of the wraiths of Eden? picture was taken right here. That's the same wreck. Uh-huh. <gasps> yes. Ooh, what is that? Those glowing eyes. Where is it going? Did Robert drop his camera while chasing after it? Ooh. Underwater camera. Okay. This was the last picture Robert took. Use a hint. Oh, I don't need to use a hint. I know how these games work, but okay. Sparkles indicate a hidden object seen. Let's go and check it out. Find the objects listed below. Here is one. Oh, sorry. There we go. Starfish. Alright. Then we need to find a steel cylinder. A sea urchin, a clownfish. Could this glow stick be Robert's? Oh, and it's a diving suit. Face mask is secured with a screw. There's the steel cylinder. What is this? No, I should try something else. Oh, it's sparkling. I'll have to pry if I want to learn the oyster's secret. Alright, well let's grab the knife and pry the oyster open. Ah, there's the pearl. What's in here? Ooh. Open domino minigame. No, I don't want to do that. I think the minigame allows me to skip this hidden object scene if I want to. But I don't want to. I'm fine. Sea urchin. Do I need to find a, a seahorse? No. A snail? A knot? A chain? Okay, here's a glove. No, this is a glove right here. Come on. Come on, game. You said you want me to find a glove. A skip tutorial. No, I don't want to skip the tutorial. Alright, but I probably need to unscrew this. So I need to find a screwdriver. Alright, it's telling me to open the domino minigame. But maybe I don't want to open the domino minigame. Alright, fine, I'll open the domino minigame. You may play a domino game instead of finding hidden objects. Press X to continue. Use domino tiles to build a bridge to the tree symbols. Grab and place a domino tile next to the one on the game board. Yes, they had this in, uh, in one of the previous games. The last one that I tried out. They had this where you could play a... Uh, a domino game if you wanted to skip the hidden object puzzle. I don't mind hidden object puzzles. I kind of like them. So, you know, I don't really want to skip. I don't want to play this domino puzzle, but I guess I'm in it now, so I'm going to have to do it. Um, there it is. 
Yeah, the Forsaken Bride had this, where you could play the dominoes and skip the hidden object things. this path so that it connects all of the uh, these little glowing trees here. This should do it. There we are. You have found a new item. A wrecked craft key. I think I'd rather just do the hidden objects. Yeah. I like that more than the dominoes. Alright, what's going on over here? Uh-oh. What? What was that? Is there someone alive inside? Starfish, it says. Robert's glow stick. He'd always leave me a golden trail when we dove together. Where is she gone? Or was it some hallucination? I don't think it was a hallucination. Open diary. New objective. The wrecked craft. I found a strange and unreported wrecked craft on the bottom of the ocean. I think I saw a girl inside it. Perhaps it's just the water pressure playing with my head. Available actions are always displayed here. Robert's disappearance. According to the Coast Guard, my fiancé. Okay, that's who he is. He is her boyfriend. or oh, her fiancé. Somewhere between husband and boyfriend. Robert disappeared in this area. I hope he just got sidetracked by a bigger and better adventure and isn't in any real trouble. Where are you, Robert? Okay. Available actions. Okay, switch tab, skip tutorial, switch page, close. Alright. Interact. I wonder where it goes. Alright, I think we've done all we can do here. Let's zoom in on this. Use item. Well, it looks like we should use this. this? Hey, we've 
open the wrecked craft. Celebrates its 10th anniversary despite the common misbelief our project seems to be an unquestionable success. Our new just and enlightened society is an example for all nations of the world. Oh look it's very art deco too just like Rapture in Bioshock. I wonder what Eden is and why it was created. I'll take those. We'll be able to zoom in on that, sure. And use the wire cutters. Pick up a tile. Let's walk up here. Interact. Is this a puzzle? Or do we have to find pieces? Looks like some strange three pin slot. Oh, I think I know. We found this thing. Okay. Interact, 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 interact. Okay, what are we gonna do with this? Oh, that's green. There we go. And another puzzle. That's what these games are all about. Lots of puzzles. A current conducting panel is missing. Let's put that one in there. Arrange the panel pieces to conduct electricity through all the wires. Uh, you may skip this mini game when it recharges. Nope, I don't want to skip it. Okay, I don't think these can be rotated. There we go. I did it! Control be room. careful. This wreck seems extremely unstable. Uh-oh. Looks like there's a dude here. Oh. Ah! He's not looking too good. I will take his <laughs> Honda <laughs> Honda key. Uh-oh. What is that thing? It looks more human than sea creature, but those eyes. Interact. Thank goodness it isn't Robert, but who uh, was he? Well, the pilot, the captain of this craft, obviously. Hmm, my running engine should power on the console. Oh, okay, so I gotta turn the engine on. Yep, we got the key right here. This is Robert Marceau. I'm Ooh, trapped Robert. inside some underwater facility. Can anybody hear me? I repeat, this is Robert Marceau. Oh no. What's going on? Oh no. <gasps> ah! Thank you. 
Where am I? What is this place? Uh, you're inside a little ship. Don't you know? Hold O to go back. Okay. The pipe must have fallen from the ceiling when we crashed. Perhaps I can redirect the steam. Why would you need to do that? Okay. Oh, what's in here? I can't grab the hammer. The steam is burning hot. Okay. See if we can go back outside. Oh, now we're in front of. Oh, what's this? We have a nail. Is that a nail? What's this? <gasps> Ooh. That must be one of the Wraiths of Eden. What does it want from me? Why does it want to scare me away? Oops. Okay. What is this place and how could I not know an underwater city existed? Into the wrecked craft. Yes, let's go back into the wrecked craft and see what we can do here. We will use this steel prop. There we go, and now we will grab the hammer and hammer that nail, presumably, at some point. <laughs> we have a hammer and a nail. I don't think I need to go back into the control room. Let's head into the city of Eden. Use interact. What can we use? Oh. And now I can turn it. Oh look, there's one of one of the glow sticks. I must be on the right path. Is there anything else out here? It means peace, I think. Yeah, that's a dove. Something missing. Not sure what that statue is supposed to represent. It's damaged. Alright, maybe there's something we have to put in the hands of that statue. Let's enter the city of Eden. Yeah, this definitely feels like, I don't want to say it's a ripoff of Bioshock, but it definitely feels inspired by Bioshock, doesn't it? With the Art Deco design and the underwater city. Phew, that was close. Bioshock came out way back in 2007, though, so this would have been like, if it's 2012 when this game came out, that was five years later. But that's fine. Totally could have been inspired by. Soon. Oh, we don't have our hammer anymore, I guess. I guess we dropped that. Cables, huh? Right, we're gonna have to probably find a key to get in there. Alright, so the idea behind these point-and-click games is that everything in the game has some kind of purpose. You just have to figure out what it is and how to put the items together or how to use the items in order to progress through the story of the game. 
Absolute quarantine. All locks and hatches must be sealed. Any fugitives will be punished by death. New code 4932. I hope this area isn't infected, she says. Ooh, what's this? Hey, honey, you won't believe what I found. Call me Robert. This text message was addressed to me, but never sent. Can you send a text from way under the ocean? Does that work? I mean, if being inside of certain buildings blocks the signal, wouldn't being way into the water block the signal? An evacuation map. Now I can keep track of my position on Eden's base. Okay. Oh, open map. I am here. Action available. Oh, interesting. So it looks like we're going to be moving through the whole city. Very interesting. All right. Let's take these batteries. Low battery there. All right. Oh, let's look over here. That looks like we should put some batteries in it. Uh, don't batteries usually go like one's one way and one's the opposite way or something? That's fine. Okay. Uh, oh, wait. We just saw a code. Hang on. The code was right here. 4932. Let's try that. 4932. Oh, it worked. Anything else in here? Soon. Let's take a look at this guy. Wanted, dead or alive, Gregory Loghain. Aiding this rebel in any way is punishable by death. Alrighty. Oh, it's dark in here. Oh no, it looks like it just short circuited. Oh, we're probably going to have to use these cables that we found. There we go. Alright, connect the symbol sockets with the cables. Uh, come back instructions. To create the proper shape for every color. Alrighty. So what does that mean? Okay, so we have to match up. Oh, they're already all lit up. Oh, I see. We have to match. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I think I got this. Alright, so... We put that one there. And this one... Here. It makes that symbol. Okay. Then... If we take this one... Hang on, gotta move this one out. Take this one and put it here. And this one and put it here. There, it makes that symbol, you see? And then for this one, we need a diamond. And this one. Oh, that's the blue one, okay. So we don't want that. Hang on. We want that one to be red. Diamond. There we go. Got that one. Oh, I think we're already close here. There we go. Solved the puzzle. Now we can turn wow. on the lights. This place is even more amazing when all lit up. Oh yeah, this is totally inspired by Bioshock. It's gotta be. It's gotta be. Albion Hotel. We treat you like royalty. It looks luxurious. The mysterious treasures of Shaft 3. Our sources report that a strange chest of unknown origin was found during the excavation. It's now being examined and secured. I wonder what they found. P. 
Peace, harmony, enlightenment, perfection. Noble, but utopian. Oh. We found a piece of something. And... Some pieces are missing. Yes, they are. So we're going to probably have to find tiles to put in here. And arrange them into some sort of shape. Probably to match this one right here. That's what it looks like. It looks like these match this. And then it'll open up another section of the briefcase and we'll find something important in there. Because that's how these puzzle games work. Liberty. New order, new law. Legates are the only bearers of the master's will. It is forbidden to leave the base. Any opposition will be punished by death. Oh, and then it says liberty and it's got this stamp over it. Interesting. I'm just looking around to see if there's anything else. Okay, let's go to the fountain. Oh boy. It seems I'm definitely on my way to finding Robert. Yes. This looks like Robert's uh, oxygen tank. I could remove those bolts if I had the appropriate tool. Alright, we're going to have to find a tool, aren't we? There's something inside the bowl, but I can't reach it. Okay. Anything over here? Oh, let's take the flashlight. Oh. Oh, there we go. Let's get the wrench. There's definitely something in here. How did that toy get here? And there's some keys. I need something thin and long to pass between the grating and reach the keys. Okay. Well, let's get in here and remove these bolts. Let's see what we find in there. <gasps> Leggets, hands of the law. It looks like, just like the one I saw outside. Who or what are Leggett's? A valve is missing. Oh, didn't we see a valve outside? Wasn't there a valve way outside? That we didn't pick up? shaft is completely blocked. I'll have to find another exit after I find Robert. Okay, I guess there's no way to get through there. Well, I hope we didn't miss out on picking up that, uh, an object that we needed. That's fine. Let's keep looking. What is this? The entire place is falling apart. I can't reach the stairs because of the fallen neon lights. I can't touch that with my bare hands. Oh, gloves, of course. There we go. I don't think there's anything we can use quite yet. Okay. But we'll have to remember that we can come back here. I imagine Eden was once beautiful, but right now it feel it fills me with dread. <laughs> I think they mean fills me, F-I-L-L-S, not feels me. I should offer up my services as an editor for these folks. They're located in Poland, and I think they do a pretty good job with the English versions of these games, but yeah, every once in a while there is kind of some awkward phrasing or awkward spelling. <laughs> oh, what's this? What's going on here? <gasps> it's the girl that we saw outside, hey, isn't it? New objective, the girl. Starfish, Robert Marceau. I'll find you, Robert. Just hold on. All right, so we know he's passed this way. Ooh, another hidden object game. 
grab. Oh, let's put it over here. There we go. It says five. Oh, glowing X. That's what that is. Okay. And we need to find a tape measure and a handkerchief. High heels. Bad luck. There's a monocle right there. Bracelet, sandals, thread. Derby, purse, and hook. Ooh, scissors, huh? What can we cut with the scissors? The string on the package. Okay, let's unwrap the package. Oh, I think we found the derby. And the hook. Nice. That's a high heel. There's a purse. Or no, that was high heels there, okay. I thought the purse is right there. It's right there, isn't it? There's the bracelet. Oh, that was the handkerchief. It didn't look like a handkerchief, it looked like a tiny tiny piece of paper all folded up. Oh, there's thread. luck. What would be bad luck? Tape measure and a purse. Oh, the broken mirror. Maybe that's the bad luck. A fragile looking mirror bodes ill. Alright, maybe I have to break the mirror? Oh, I guess that's the purse. I think they meant wallet then. Um, well, how do I break the mirror? <gasps> With the rock. There we go. Now we just need to find the tape measure. Oh, there's a tiara. I don't think we need that. 33% off. <gasps> Do you guys see the tape measure? I don't see the tape measure. Oh, because we needed to move. We needed to move that. I don't see anything that looks like a tape measure. like a tie. Oh, I must die. There it is. Okay. We have found a new item. The fishing hook and line. Excellent. Well, now I think we need to go back in here and see if we can fish these keys out. Using the fishing hook and line. There we go. We have found a small key. Uh oh. What an interesting shape for a keyhole. Nope, that won't work, huh? Oh, because there's a tile in there. We're going to need to get that tile to put into the briefcase. Alright. Oh, sparkles. Telling me to get a move on. Look there. What else can we look at? Walk up. Interact. Requires some kind of authorization. Nope, it doesn't seem to work. Okay. Locked. the corridor. Oh, what's in here? Two more people possessed by some unknown power. Does it have to do with treasures in Shaft 3? Authorities deny it, but our sources report that two more citizens are victims of the so-called possession. I have a bad feeling about this. Yeah, you think so? Oh, what's this? It's some kind of electronically secured hatch. Ooh. 
Guess we don't have anything we can use on it yet. Let's look around, see if there's anything else that we can interact with. Interact! Nope, okay. Let's go to the corridor. Oh! Stop, please. I won't hurt you. Oh no. Zoom, interact. It's offline. I need to power it somehow. Probably over here somehow. Zoom, obey or die. And the resistance says no. Some kind of uh, conflict going on down here. Interact. The corridor is completely flooded. <gasps> There's a tile. All right. Well, now we've found oh. that. Ah. Creepy. I don't know what this place is, but it surely isn't Eden. Not for this poor guy. No kidding. The fishies have been eating his nose. Yeah, I already looked at this. So, oh, peace, harmony, enlightenment, perfection. Oh, what's this? Something small and precise should remove the object. Oh, probably gonna be looking for tweezers if I had to guess. Zoom. Okay, eight sixteen. Looks like a few solid hits on the door should finish the job. Locked from the inside. Okay, so we gotta whack the door with something. Well, what in the world are we gonna whack the door with? Alright, let's go back. Let's see. Let's walk up. we can do. Alright, let's see if we can find anything up here. We have one of the tiles. But we've got to get the other one. something we'd missed in here that we needed to pick up. Oh, right! This thing. We have a key now. Ah, we can get the axe. And we can chop down that door. There we go. Don't mind me, I'm just gonna bust up your front door into the photographer's studio. I don't know how you got here, but you better leave while you still can. They've already taken that other diver, Robert, to the lair. It's in the Albanon Hotel, just beyond the drawbridge. The You'll Albanon? Is that what she called it? Believe me, it's, it's not safe here. Or Alba Go Albion, away. is that what she said? I said, Go away. No, no, no. Too strong. Oh boy. Save yourself. There's no hope for us. New objective, the hotel. Ooh, that was creepy.
creepy little girl. Oh, hey. This looks like pieces of the map. Five, three, eight, seven, four. Okay. There's a knob. Some map pieces are missing. Alright, so I've got to find all four before I can start putting this back together. Okay. Got it. What's going on up here? I'll fix it after I'm done with the bridge and the fountain. Be patient. Alright, well let's put in a knob here. Doesn't seem to work. Looks like the power box is malfunctioning. Oh, okay, we took it out. Now let's put this one in. No? Alright, I guess I have to find a fuse, not a knob. That would make more sense, wouldn't it? Oh, there we go. Put the knob there. Ah, that's what this is. Oh, sorry. Oh dang, wrong sequence. I should start anew. Yes, let's reset. Okay. Um, five to the right. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Um, Hang on, I'm trying to figure this out. Wrong way. Reset. Okay. There we go. And then seven the other way. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then four this way. I'm just very gently pushing on the left joystick to make that happen. this. Gregory, I've left Mr. Fluffy in the usual place. The missing part is hidden inside of him. Ah, I know exactly where that is. Mr. Fluffy is the bear that was in that uh, drainage grate there. Okay. Ooh, place explosives here. Keep your distance. Use a long wire. Press handle to detonate. Attach wire to detonator. It looks like someone was planning to blow up the Albion's gate. If this girl is right, I should find Robert there. Alright, so we need to find some explosives. And a detonator. Oh, that looks like a key. To that drainage grate. Oh, walk up. What is this? Oh, another hidden object. Puzzle. Pendant is missing two halves. <gasps> Tweezers! We need those. Hopefully they'll go into our inventory after we're done with this puzzle. We need to find a magnifying glass, chess piece, clothes pin. Oh, does it need to go in there? Yin and yang, negative. Bottles. Well, these look like bottles here, no? Piece, clock. Oh, there's piece. Clock. There's a clock. Film. Oh, what is this? Oh, there's the negative. Oh, there's bottles. And a tree, huh? This looks like a tree. What 
do we have left? Oh, there's the film. Uh huh. Uh, magnifying glass, chess piece. Oh, there's the magnifying glass. We need a chess piece and a clothes pin. And the yang to the yin here. Oh, that looks like it. There we go. Where is the clothes pin and the chess piece? Oh, look, there's Mr. Fluffy. Oh, there's the clothes pin. Can I move this curtain, please? We just need the chess piece. right there, the pawn. I thought I clicked on that already earlier and it didn't do anything. Uh, you have found a new item, tweezers. Yes, I know exactly where to use these tweezers. Right here. We have found a map piece. Excellent. Alright, let's go back. Let's get into this great... Okay, Mr. Fluffy. There's definitely something inside of Mr. Fluffy. Let's use the scissors. Do a little surgery on Mr. Fluffy. Oh, there we go. There's the handle and the last piece of that puzzle. Excellent. Now we can come over here and use the... Oh, that's a detonator handle. And a detonator part. Oh, we don't want that yet. All right, I thought this was going to be a handle to go in here, but I guess not. Okay. Let's not do that. But let's come out here to the briefcase. And put our pieces in here. And now we need to... Figure out this puzzle, which I think... Is going to be... this this tree right here there we go oh ah okay let's take that I think I know where this goes It's going to go right here. There we go. That matches. <gasps> oh. Ah! oh boy. That's not creepy at all. Yuck. Alright, let's take a look at our inventory. Alright, so we have this detonator handle and we still have a flashlight and some pieces of map. Okay, let's go in here. Zero, one, and two. We're, looks like we're on the second floor, so we need to go down. Looks like I need to replace this panel to gain access to the bottom floor. It's useless here. Oh, okay, so this is going to take me between floors one and two. But if I want to get to floor zero, I'm gonna need to fix this, whatever this is. All right, let's go to the drawbridge. <gasps> Objective completed, the hotel. Oh 
boy. We're gonna need to find a new gear, I think. Yeah, it looks like I'll need a replacement gear, okay? This wretched fountain is broken again. Go and fix it after you're done with the bridge. Where are all these people now? Oh boy, okay. What are we doing here? Oh, maybe this is what we need. There's what we need to go and fix. Let's see what else is in here. There we go. We need this too. Alright. Amor Vincent Omnia from my beloved Robert. Oh boy. I gave it to Robert as a token of my love. I hope he's okay. Is that his watch? She had engraved for him. Alright, so we know he must be... Looks like someone already tried to blow up the gate. All right, well, let's go back and do what we can. Oh, you hold that. Beware, it says. Turn back or he will be next. Oh no, not Robert. Oh, and that's it. Discover all the secrets of Eden, unlock the full game. All right. That's all we get to do in the demo. <laughs> well, I hope you have enjoyed yourself on this little underwater adventure. I was very curious how similar it would be to Bioshock. And yes, while well, the gameplay mechanics are completely different and, uh, and the storyline is different, uh, it does seem like the whole idea of an underwater art deco city uh, with uh, with a conflict going on within it, uh, a sort of uh, utopian city in conflict is definitely inspired by Bioshock, I would say. Uh, but very different story. Oh, looks like things get very dark. Looks like there's probably a supernatural element. Of course, I, I don't know. If, well, I don't know if I'd say there's a supernatural element to Bioshock. There's definitely, you know, there's the plasmids and the weird powers and things like that. But, uh, and, and there are freezers in Bioshock. Yes, there's freezers. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, that was very interesting. Very interesting. I don't know if it was interesting enough to make me want to continue playing it. I'm not really sure what the difference is in the different Artifacts Monday games. There are some, like uh, even Tide, Slavic Fable, that just really entranced me and captured me with the puzzles and the gameplay. I thought it was very intriguing. And I wanted to finish it, so I ended up buying the full game and playing the whole thing. But then other games like Clockwork Tales or this one, Abyss Wraith of Eden, I don't think that I would buy the full game for this. I don't know what the difference is exactly. Maybe the story is just not that compelling to me, or maybe the puzzles just seemed a little too easy. I guess after playing a lot of these sorts of point-and-click puzzle games, you start... Um, kind of getting wise <laughs> to how it works and what you need to look for and what's going to happen next and, and they get a little bit too easy. I thought the Eventide puzzles were really, really interesting, uh, challenging, unique, compelling, and I thought the artwork was really, really good. Uh, you know, not saying that the artwork is bad in this or that the puzzles were bad, but I don't know, something about Eventide, it was just like a slight, slight level above this one, enough to make me want to buy it and play it. And the storyline... I think was uh, was compelling enough that made me really want to play it personally. But um, but yeah, I mean, I would play this if I had nothing else to play. I do like point and click puzzle games. Uh, I used to play quite a bit of them when my kids were younger, and I didn't have a lot of time to game. So I would play games like this that I could play very easily, very quickly. Um, you know, in between nap times and diaper changes and feedings and all that kind of stuff, you know? You can sit and be feeding a baby while you're playing this point-and-click game, you know, while you're trying to get him to fall asleep or whatever. Um, <laughs> I used to do that quite a bit back in the day, like 10 or so years ago or more. But, uh, 
But nowadays, yeah, my gaming time is taken up by things like Fallout every Friday. I do Fallout Fridays where I live stream Fallout 4. Or um, in between Try It Tuesdays and Fallout Fridays, I've been playing Bioshock. I'm in the middle of Bioshock Infinite right now, and I've been uploading video clips of that to my YouTube channel, Jewel Smith. So, um, yeah, for now I've got other things to play. But uh, maybe at some point in the future I'll come back to some of these Artifacts Monday games and play them a little bit more. I do enjoy the demos though. I really like all the different free demos that they offer and being able to see all the different varieties of stories and artwork and, you know, be able to, to play around with the little puzzles a little bit. Uh, I think their demos are really interesting. Check those out on PS4. And uh, if you're enjoying yourself, please leave a like, subscribe, tell your friends. Leave me questions and comments. I do read them. And you can always find me on Patreon, Tumblr, Twitter, and Facebook. Next Try It Tuesday. Let me look at my schedule here. My schedule is always on Patreon, the main page of Patreon. You do not have to be a patron to see the schedule. And that's where I post updates publicly. Though there is sometimes some special sneak preview or special information or things that I share with my patrons over there. Um, but the, the schedule for my live streams and my gameplay is always public and always available on my Patreon page. Patreon.com slash Jewelsmith. Uh, looks like next week is going to be Cat Quest, which from what I understand is an open world RPG, a little bit like Zelda maybe, but instead of humanoid characters, it's all cats. It's like, it's like a little Khajiit land. I even read that it was uh, somewhat inspired by Skyrim. So I'm really looking forward to trying out the demo for that on the next Try Tuesday, March 13th. Uh, until then, you guys, take care of yourselves.